hello everyone welcome back to my channel if today is your first time of coming across this channel please don't leave without subscribing and also don't forget to put on the notification bell so that you'll be uh, notified whenever i upload a new video so this video i have posted it before there was no audio over in it and some people were complaining about that so now i'm here to give you the audio so i'm starting with the handle the handle measure 3.5 inches by 50 inches long and i have two pieces of it the all leather now is the zipper gusset the zipper gusset measure 28.5 inches by 5 inches i have two pieces leather and two pieces of the lining the white uh, material you are seeing is the lining so i have it two pieces you can see it two pieces so now this is the down gusset i have 34.5 inches by 10 inches 34.5 inches by 10 inches i have it one piece one piece of the leather and one piece of the lining you can see it there one piece of the leather one piece of the lining so now to the main body the back body i have 20 inch inches by 14.5 inches as the measurement of the main body and i have two pieces of the leather and also two pieces of the lining you can see it's one two that is for lining so the leather you will cut two pieces the lining you will cut two pieces so now i'm going to put all these ones together so that i'll go to the next items so this is the pocket the measurement is 20 inches by 9 inches i have one piece of it the inner pocket taping i have 20 inches by 2 inches i have two pieces of it so this belt is not necessary i did not let her use it so i have my zipper head i have two pieces of zip head and i use size c zip head for this particular bag so i also have my adjuster i have here my um d-ring sorry 1.5 inches d-ring i have two pieces of it i also have a leather that i will use to tap the d-ring it measure 1.5 inches by two and a half inches i have two pieces of it so this is it for this ones so the next uh, measurement is my outer pocket which is 7.5 inches by 9 inches only leather i have only leather for that and it has taping also that i'll use to tape it is 8 inches by 2 inches so now i'm going to place my leather on the lining see the way i'm placing it place it on the lining this way then i'll go and sew it round I would pick this one also and sew it round. So now this is the outer pocket. I'm going to sew the, the tab on it. Then after sewing it, I will fold it over to the right side. I sewed it on the wrong side. Then I'm folding it over to the right side. Fold, fold it very well. So i let her I, I let her use one and a half inches so you reduce it to one and a half inches instead of the two inches then i will not stop stitch it this way so this is the inner pocket i will also sew the uh, taping on it this this i'm sewing it on the wrong side so on the wrong side and fold it over on the right side so this is me now folding it over on the right side then i will go and top stitch it so this is it after sewing it this is what i have so i'm going to bring the main body which i've sewn round already you see it you see what it you get the midpoint i placed it on the main body and i'm trying to get the midpoint now because i'm going to run a stitch on that midpoint to divide the pocket so that's what i'm trying to get the line where the stitch i will run the stitch so now i'm going to sew it this way you see the mark there so this is it after sewing it now i'm going to sew the front pocket to cover that mark that is showing on the right side so i'm going i want to notch the midpoint of the front pocket 
the line have already formed the midpoint for this uh, main body, but you can as well notch it. I'm also going to indicate the midpoint on the part I taped with white leather. The upper part of the pocket, I need to indicate the middle there also. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So now that I've gotten the middle of everything, so I'm going to get the middle. See it, the middle. So don't forget to fold over the inner pocket so that you will not sew on it. So I'm arranging it in a midpoint to midpoint. So I will go to my machine. I will sew it this way. This way. when I get here, I will move over the inner pocket this way so that I will not sew on it. You see the way I moved it. I move it this way, and so I'll continue my sewing, and also sew this side. So I'm done sewing it now. This is what I have. Look at the inner pocket. I did not run any stitch on it. So now I'm going to sew the handle. Just fold it over this way, the way I'm folding it now, and stitch it till the end. That's what I'm going to do on the second one also. So I'm done sewing it. This is what I have. So I'm going to sew it on the main body. So I'm taking on the main body now. I'm taking quarter inch, 0 0.25 inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. So that quarter inch I'm taking, I will rule it. That is where I'm going to place my handle to before I will sew it. So I'm going to connect the points together. I'm doing same on this side also. So now I will place the handle on it this way. See the way my handle must not cross that line. So I'll place it, arrange it on that line, and so I will do same on this side. Make sure that it's not twisted. I will sew. Please, when you are sewing, remember the inner pocket. Don't sew on top of it. You push it inside and sew. So from the top, I'm taking two inches from the top. That is where my stitching will stop. Two inches. See it? You move it. Don't sew on that inner pocket. So I'll sew it this way, this way, this way. To that two inches point, I'll close it. I will also sew this way, this way, to the two inches point, I'll sew that. So I will do some on this one also. So I'm done doing it. This is what I have. I'm done with the handle now. So now I'm going to sew the pocket round. So now I want to shape it. I'm shaping it by 3.5 inches by 4 inches. 3.5 by 4 inches, so I'll connect it. You see the way I just connected it. So I will use that to shape the dance the other side. So at the damp part, I'm using one inch by one inch to shape the damp part. What I will do is that I will shape the one side and use the at one side to shape the second side. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to cut it out. Now fold it over, arrange it very well, and use it to shape this side also. So this is it. Now I'm going to use this now to shape the, the other one. I just place it on it, arrange it very well, make sure that it's equal. Then I will trace it the way I'm tracing it now. Trace it.
Now I'm going to cut it off, cut off all the parts that are not supposed to be there. So I'm shaping it now. So this is it now. So I'm going to keep this aside. I'm going to work on the gusset now. So this is the lining. This is my zipper clothes. And this is my leather. I will sew it. After sewing it, this is what I have. So I will flip it over this way and top stitch it round. So I'm trying to arrange it now so that I can top stitch it round. Press it down. Make sure that you arrange it very well. So, make sure that the lining under is not folded inside. So, I will top stitch it round. So, after top, stitch, top stitching it, this is what I have. So, now this is my second side. I want to second sew the second side of the zip clothes. I place it on the lining. The right side of my leather will face the right side of my zip cloth. Then I will sew it down. So this is it. Now after sewing it down, this is my lining. And this is my zip, my leather. So I'm going to top stitch it round. So after top stitching it round, this is what I have. So the next thing is to fix the zip head. So... So this is it. Now I'm done fixing the zip head. The next thing I'm going to do is to sew my D-ring. I'll just put it into the strap. Just fix it inside the strap and sew it. Centralize it on the zip the head and sew. Make sure you centralize. Let it not go one-sided. So I will put the second one here and also sew it. So after sewing it, this is what I have. Now I'm going to sew the up and down gusset together. This is the lining, the right side of the lining. I will place my leather on it, the upper gusset on the lining. Then I put the leather on top. Right side of the leather will face the right side of my leather. I will sew it here. I will come to this side. I will bring it together this way. Make sure that the three are together. I will also sew. So after sewing it, this is what I have. This is so I'm going to turn it to the right side so that I can be able to top stitch the down gusset with the lining together. I'll top stitch it round. I'll top stitch it round. So this is it. I'm done top stitching it round. So now I want to get the midpoint. So the Two, the two sides that are joined it together, you bring it together for you to be able to get the mid point. You have to bring the two joining parts together. So you notch it up and down. So now I'm going to notch the main body also. Fold it, make sure it's equal to get the midpoint. I want to notch the midpoint also on the two main bodies. The main body, uh, body panel, notch the midpoint because if you don't notch the midpoint, your bag will not uh, balance well. So now I'm turning my gusset to the wrong side. Now we match it midpoint to midpoint. The zipper gusset will be at uh, up, while the down gusset will be down. So, 
I'm trying to arrange it now. Arrange it very well. If you do the right thing, at the end of the day, you will not have excess. You will not have excess. You see it? Midpoint to midpoint. It has balanced. So I will arrange it now. After arranging, I will sew. So I'm going to bring the other part also. I'll put it this way. Notch point to notch point. You match it together. Arrange. So now I'm going to sew it round. I will turn to this side and sew it round also. So this is it after sewing it round. So now I'm going to use my bias belt to tape it round. I will turn to this side and also tape it round. So this is it now after taping it. Now is the time to turn it to the right side. So if you have watched this extent and you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so to support me. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and if today is your first time of coming across this channel, please don't leave without subscribing and also don't forget to put on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, this is our traveling bag, like, bag now. It's, it's looking very taken away. Look at it. Very beautiful and big. Very beautiful and big. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing my videos. See you in our next video and God bless you all.